my friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a video that I never ever thought I would be doing. Today, I bought way too big of an Abercrombie haul. Apparently Abercrombie is cool again. <laughs> I literally have not shopped there since I was maybe 12 or 13 and I got like those navy super tight fitted t-shirts with the raised letters across the top and wore it with like that kind of awkward length floral skirt. You know what I'm talking about? That era. And I haven't been back since, but I know that TikTok kind of had something to do with it. There's a specific pair of Abercrombie jeans that went viral. Abercrombie kind of grew up a little they became more inclusive, they became more timeless. And so I ordered 16 things. I'm honestly kind of ashamed at how many things I got. I totally do not intend to keep all of these things. So this video is going to be like kind of an unsponsored haul review, seeing what the hype is about, but also a little game of keep versus return. Figured we could play together. I'll try on these things and you guys can totally let me know in the comments which things you think I should keep and which things you think I should return. Honestly, a lot of these things are really Really, really really cute so I'm praying that they don't really fit me because I cannot keep all these things I'm blabbering on way too long I will have all of this linked down below all 16 items so without further ado let's just get into the little haul the big haul it's a big haul we have dresses we have tops we have sets we have shorts we have jeans we have swimsuits we have loungewear and I even took a trip in store to find those 90s jeans that are sold out constantly online. They're not quite my size, but there is one thing I did break into the bag and wear this weekend. This is the only thing that I have worn because I was so dang excited about it. It is this little ruffle top and it has the cutest little sleeves, the cutest little design, it's so dang flattering. Let's try it on. Is this not the sweetest top? I already have taken off the tags. I already pulled this out of the bag and was like, I, I need to keep this one because I just love how flattering it is right here. Oh, it's just so cute. Love the little sleeves. It's very romantic in a sense. This one, this one is a keep already because I took off the tags. I think it's so timeless and sweet and the square neckline is so fun. That's what makes it a little bit modern. I love this one. I am so eager to see how these fit. I'm hoping that they are modest enough to where I actually like them. I'm so picky about shorts. These are these like linen kind of paper bag shorts. They look so timeless. I think that they're pretty high rise. So we'll see what the length looks like on me and I'll wear it with I actually bought these before I knew I was gonna do an Abercrombie haul, before I knew Abercrombie was cool again. I was looking for good tanks, and so I bought this tank in three different colors. I think it's called the 90 square neck tank. I'll link it down below. This is the best tank of my life. It's the only tank that you can wear a bra underneath it, hides the bra straps, is fitted, is slightly cropped without being too cropped. I love it. So I'll try on this tank with a lot of our bottoms. Let's try on both of these together. Oh my gosh, the shorts fit. I'll show you a mirror shot first for this tank. This is a white tank. I wanted to put it to the test. I'm wearing a very dark black bra and it's hardly noticeable underneath. And this bra has a very thick straps, so the thickest straps of all of my bras. And it does such a good job of covering it up. It's just like, the best tank it goes to the best length a lot of people recommended the free people tanks and i bought a couple of those did not like them they come to like here but these shorts let me take you to the mirror sorry for the messy background but i love the rise of these the rise is absolutely perfect i feel like they might get a little bit wrinkly but it is linen and that's just kind of to be expected they're so comfy they feel like i'm in pajamas they're a little on the short side for me, so I'm a little torn. You know, I wonder if these come in tall. If these come in tall, I'm definitely ordering these in tall and keeping them. Um, I think if you're a little bit shorter than me, I am five foot seven. So if you're a little bit on the shorter side, I think these would be like the perfect short. I have very long legs and a very short torso. So that's why they look a little bit short. So I'm torn. Let me know your thoughts. They're so comfy. Got two pair of jeans. First is the Curve Love. Traditionally in Everlane, I am a 25 in their curvy jeans. So I got a 25 in the Abercrombie curvy jeans. I feel so nervous about if they're gonna fit, but this is the Curve Love mom high rise jeans they're super distressed i think that they're a lot of fun let's see if they let's see if they fit okay i'll show you a mirror shot of these jeans at first glance they fit around my waist and thighs so good i got a 25 i'm normally a 25 some places though 25s are too small so the curve at least 25 fits me perfectly but i do wish they were more relaxed around the leg and they're a tad too short for me so i would have got these in tall instead of regular i feel like five foot seven is right at the cusp between regular and tall it's not like 
wow, you're five foot seven, you're tall. <laughs> but my proportions are short for so long legs, like I mentioned. So I do think I should probably have gotten these in tall, but I'll show you the full body. I love the rise. I love the rise. They fit so good. I can't believe I don't have to wear a belt with these. That is rare for me. But here's the length. They're a little too ankle, in my opinion, for me, but I do think if I got these in tall, they would be perfect as well. Maybe that's the lesson I'm learning here is I'm just a tall at Abercrombie. I'm just so in love with citrus right now, citrus everything. I think this dress looks so sweet. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. It has this little like tie back. I'm interested to see how deep the V goes down. Oh, and all dresses are available in petite, regular, and tall, just like their jeans, which I actually really appreciate. So I love the way this one looks. I really like this one. I really, really love like the tiered baby doll dresses right now. I'm so glad they're in style. I know they're not like the most flattering because they're not like, ooh, look, waist, you know, but they're just so comfortable. And the fact that they're in style and comfortable makes me so excited. I was worried about this length, but I think assuming it never shrinks, I will definitely wash this on cold and hang dry it. Assuming it never shrinks, I love the length. I think it works really well. Here's the full body. It actually goes longer than my fingertips, which I am very surprised about for Abercrombie. I think it's so sweet and the fun neckline, and let me show you the back. The deep V back, I, oh, I really like this one. I think this might be a keep. What do you think? Should I return it? Should I keep it? Another dress, oh, okay. I love this one. This is like a linen t-shirt dress. It has a tie waist. I love the nautical stripes. Oh, this one isn't tall. This one is in small tall. Um, it actually still looks a little like it might be on the short side for me, so I'm very glad I got this in tall. Let's see how it fits. Okay, this one is so sophisticated and it has pockets. I really love the feel of this one. This one is like nautical. I imagine people eating lunch on a boat, you know, definitely way above my pay grade, <laughs> but that's the vibe it has. And it goes to my knee. I love the collar. I love the length of the sleeves. This tie waist is super flattering. And then the vertical stripes, I think makes everything look very long and lean, which is very flattering as well. I'll show you the length in the mirror. So here is the length. The length is actually so cute. This would be such a good beach outfit, like dinner out after a night on the beach. Oh, I need your guys' help. I need your help for sure. <laughs> what do you think? We have a set. I was telling my best friend Kaylee this weekend, you'll not believe what's back in style. These tiered mini skirts, because this was one thing that I bought from Abercrombie when I was 12 that is back in style, but mostly as sets. So I got this like black, I think it's also a linen-y material, tiered mini skirt, and this I'm nervous about. I don't know if this is realistic for um, anybody above a B-cup bra, because <laughs> you definitely cannot wear a bra with this. Maybe you could wear like a stick-on bra, but this is just kind of like, a little tiny little tank top, which actually looks larger than I'd expect it to be for a small. So let's try on the set together. Okay, this is cute, but I think that this top is not for me. It's funny that this is a small because the straps are like super loose and this strap is super loose as well. I would, I would assume that it would be a little tighter. It's very tall. Maybe I'm supposed to wear it further down. I don't know. I mean, it's super duper cute. I actually really love the skirt. I feel like this skirt with maybe like a tank would be my vibe. This is just a little too, a little too free feeling. You know, I don't feel secure. I feel like all day I would be walking around like this trying to keep this up, but it is really cute. I might keep the skirt though. The skirt is so flattering. It's so flattering. I am nervous about it possibly shrinking as well because then it would be too short, but I don't know. I like it. It's fun. It feels young. I know I dress mature for my age. I get that comment all the time. People are like, why do you dress so old? So this might appease those people finally dressing my age. What do you think? It's super flattering yet again anxiously awaiting your comments. <laughs> okay, remember that first shirt? When I ordered these things online, I thought I got that first shirt and these next couple things in different patterns. It looks super different online, but in real life, they're basically identical. One looked like a rich green, one looks like almost like a yellow. They all looked so different, but I think I basically got the same thing in three fabrics. This is a dress 
which was adorable online. Um, but this looks so teeny tiny mini, so teeny tiny mini that I doubt it's gonna fit. This is just a regular small. I should have gotten a small tall, but I love this type of top because I think it's flattering. Oh, a little bit of a wild card. Oh, this one, this one is way too short. I'll show you in the mirror. Here's the end of it. It's a shame because it's so comfy. This material is so comfy, but this one is too short. <laughs> top, super cute, super cute. But then, Oh, that is, that is far too short. Here's my fingertips. My fingertips, it's, it's shorter in the front than the back. At least there's a little bit more room in the back, but this is a, I'm not even gonna wait for your opinion on this one. This one is a too young for me and I'm young. <laughs> We have a swimsuit. I love this fabric, this print more than anything. I think they're little peaches. I just saw online that they have this in a dress and I wish I found this print in the dress, but um, they have two pieces, they have one pieces. This is like a one piece that kind of like slits in the center and it's one shoulder. The thing I'm nervous about is how covered the butt's gonna be. So we will see about that. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. This is so stinking cute, but I definitely need the next size up. It's a little too small here, and then this is very tight. This is like pulling up, but at the same time, it is a little bit loose around the waist, so I'm not exactly sure how a size up would fit me, but this is so cute. I love the single strap. It is it is a little booty-y. I like don't even quite want to show it on camera, but it, it cuts pretty high up the sides, which is maybe a little too much for me, but I think that where the waist goes is super flattering, and then I love the line of it, it's so fun. Would definitely be some annoying tan lines for sure, but like this is hardly, hardly staying on. This needs to be a little bit larger. This side feels great because it has extra fabric on the top and on the bottom, but... Uh, they have this same print in other cuts, like in two pieces. They even have two pieces that have underwire, which I think would feel nice and secure. So I'm kind of tempted to get one of those and try it on. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> and the third and final thing in this print, it's very similar to the first shirt we tried, except for it is a very poof sleeve, square neckline, and there is no like ruching on the front, but there is on the back. So I'm interested to see how this fits in comparison to the first one we tried on. Okay, this one is so romantic, so flattering, so comfortable. It almost like automatically wants to tuck itself into my pants, but this I think is super flattering, the fact that it does ruch in the back, so this is just kind of naturally form-fitting. But the material is somewhere between like a soft cotton and a linen. This is definitely a hard shirt to wear a bra with. I have my bra sleeves tucked into the little balloon sleeves because it is kind of square neck, kind of wants to be off the shoulder. Strapless bra would be super duper cute. I wish this was in a different color than the first one I ordered. I swear online they looked so different. But this is like my favorite shirt, my second favorite shirt that we've tried so far, but it's so similar to the pattern of the first one. Do I exchange this for a different pattern of the same shirt? Oh, I like it. I'm torn on this one too. Okay, it's time. The 90s straight ultra high rise jean. These apparently are restocked super often, so I'll still link them down below, but sell out immediately as soon as they're restocked and so i went in store don't even live near an abercrombie and i went in store to try to find these and i found them in a 27 but these are not the curvy brand so typically i'm a 25 curvy we'll see how these fit i don't know but they do look super cute love the wash price point is good for quality denim love that it comes in tall and regular and petite so let's see let's see this is the moment we've all been waiting for honestly oh my gosh so I have on the 27 of the high rise jeans. Expectations were very low because they're a 27 short. And we've determined that even the regular is a little too short on me. So expectations were low, but I was like, these jeans, they are have like a long look. So these actually hit me in a good spot. And the material is super spandexy. So there's a little bit of room in my waist, but it fits my hips and thighs really well. These actually might be a keep. I can only imagine how much better they'd fit in my own size and in my own length. Maybe I should look for that. Just might be so hard. Love the wash, love the rise. And look, they're short, but the length is not bad at all. Here's how it looks in the back, super flattering. Oh, I love these. I think 
a 25 regular would just even fit even better because they would be like nice and secure. And since they're spandexy, I, I feel confident that they would fit my hips. What do I do? They're so hard to get a hold of. Do I keep them in this size or do I try to find them in my exact perfect size? I'm so torn. I'm so torn on so many of these things. I thought this one was so stinking sweet. This is like a tank top. It's like a tube top with tank sleeves is how I would describe it. Cause I feel like a lot of tube tops are just this material. So I think it's really, really sweet for summer. This tank is so sweet. I love the form fittedness and I'm still wearing the 90s pants. These kind of just want to tuck into these pants as well, kind of naturally. I am not wearing a bra underneath this. I feel like I'm not the type of person that can do that all day and feel comfortable, but I do think I could wear a sticky bra with this. I really like this one. The fabric and the material is so cute. So many tough decisions. This one. I said, uh-oh, this is gonna be hard to return. This is the soft collection. I just love, 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 love the embroidery on this, the little Brooklyn like tennis club kind of feel. It feels so like vintagey and this material is so dang soft. So uh, I really like the looks of this one. Oh my goodness. This is the softest thing I have ever put on. Like maybe actually ever. I'm not saying that in a dramatic way. I actually think that this might be the softest thing I ever put on. And I think it's so cute with jeans or with a skirt, even throwing this on over a dress. I think it's so versatile. I am definitely keeping this one. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it. And it looks so good with these pants. I just checked again online. They're still not in stock. So I'm like, I might just keep these. <laughs> Finally, we have a midi length dress. I meant to get more dresses this length and I just did it. But this is a really cute gingham tiered midi length dress. I got this one in store. So it smells really good. Um, this is like just, this is totally my vibe. I'm very excited about this. This totally fits my new brand, Summer Mornings. <laughs> I would have worn this to the shoot if I had found this ahead of time, but I can't wait to see how this one fits. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I did not wear a bra with this one as well because you could see it very clearly in the back, but I think that a sticky bra would totally work with this. I actually got this one in an extra small just because I know that tiered dresses that are midi or maxi length is just a lot of fabric. So I was like, maybe it would be fun to size down in this one. And it worked really well. I did not know that when you tie the back of this, it adjusts the strap length, which is also perfect because me short torso, a lot of things don't fit my torso right. So I was able to tighten this and make it as tall as I wanted it. Let me show you a mirror shot. I think it's so fun. And with some sneakers or even some heels, if you're going out to dinner, anything like that, you could definitely dress this up or dress this down. It's so breezy and comfy. It'd be really cute with a denim jacket too. Oh, this one's a little bit pricey, but I really like it. <laughs> and last but not least, this dress feels very different to their other dresses, in my opinion, because this one feels very sweet, very modest. It has kind of poof sleeves um, and then a little bit of ruching across the front, but it's almost like an A-line, almost knee length kind of dress. At least I assume it is. I love the color of this pattern. I think that this color is almost kind of unique. Okay, love, love, love this neckline. This little like almost sweetheart to a square neck and then the poof sleeves. Yet again, so romantic. It actually is a little bit shorter on than I was expecting. And then a little more, not form fitting, but it kind of almost cuts in a little, which I think is very, sophisticated and kind of a little bit sexy, but also not what I was expecting. The material, it feels a little more formal. Like I think this would be really great to wear to like a bridal shower, baby shower, maybe even church, like Easter type of thing, girls brunch somewhere really nice. But I don't think I'd wear this day to day. This is definitely more of like a special occasion feel of a material, but it is a little short for me. Let me show you. I think if I got this in the tall as opposed to the regular, it would be perfect. I mean, it is really cute. It is really cute. I'm, I'm so torn on all these things. I really truly am. I don't think I have enough occasions to wear this out, so I might return it, but it is really, really flattering. I love the back. Man, it's hard. This neckline is everything. Like I said, never in a million zillion years did I think I'd be doing an Abercrombie haul, but these things are so 
cute and I am so impressed with how timeless, honestly, they kind of shifted their whole brand and their whole vibe and I think it aligns a lot with my personal brand. It's kind of has a little bit of an Everlane feel, which is my favorite brand, but um, a lot more pattern in it, which is fun to kind of mix and match with what I currently have. So I will be keeping my eye out in the comments down below for which things you guys think I should keep versus return. I am always open to your input. And like I said, I will have all these things linked down below. The thing I did notice is even if something sells out, they restock things super fast. So check back at those links if there's something that you really want. And I think that there's a good chance that they would restock it pretty soon. They seem to be doing pretty good at that, but this was so much fun. I've honestly really enjoyed kind of investigating new brands a little bit and hopefully returning at least half of the stuff because I don't need all this stuff. But if there's any other brands you want me to look into, do a haul, a little unsponsored, unbiased look at the brand, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do more of those. I love how with my whole heart. I truly do. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in.